So last month, September, was National Preparedness Month. Okay. And we missed, we shot this a little bit earlier, but we wanted to remind everyone that the one natural disaster that is most likely to actually impact us has to do with water. So we talked to a FEMA representative to remind us what we should know about floods and flood insurance. Hey everybody, so we know that September is National Preparedness Month and this week we're talking about insurance. We have Scott Van Hoff from FEMA with us. Yes. Thank you for being sure, here. Thank you. you know, I think a misconception is that if there's a disaster like what we're seeing in North Carolina, that FEMA will take care of everything, but that's not the case. You still need insurance. That's correct. And a typical flood, the uh, damage to a typical home would be far exceed the individual assistance grant uh, you might get from FEMA. So if you don't have your own insurance policy, to cover all your damage and repair your home, you're going to be left short and paying for that out of pocket somehow. Well, well, what kind of insurance do you think we need here in Puget Sound? A lot of people might think earthquakes, but there's more than that. Yes, in, the, in this area we face a lot of natural hazards, so earthquakes, volcanoes, flooding. Flooding is by far the biggest disaster that we face year after year as far as the damages. So flood insurance is certainly first on the list of you know, individual insurance that you need for your home. And is it concerning that even though a lot of people live in floodplains, a lot of people don't have flood insurance. Yes, yes, it's certainly a trend we're seeing around the country that uh, Americans in the average are underinsured, especially for flood hazard. Uh, so we're not unique in that in that circumstance, but we do have a very low rate of insurance coverage for flooding. Okay, and where do people start? There is a flood, a national flood insurance program, right? Yes. Yeah, the National Flood Insurance Program offers flood insurance to uh, to anyone, regardless of what flood zone you might live in. As long as your community participates in the in the program, then you're eligible to buy flood insurance, regardless of what hazard zone you live in. So that would be a good place to start. You really need to talk with your insurance agent. Whoever has your homeowner's policy now, that would be the place to start. Have that conversation face to face with your agent. Talk about the risks of your uh, that face that your home faces and what kind of coverage would be appropriate. And nobody likes paying extra money but in the end it's definitely worth it. it yeah it sure beats taking out a second mortgage in order to repair your home it's better to have a good policy that'll cover your actual damages because FEMA is there but yes. they're not there to take care of everything right. so if someone wants to get started mm -hmm. they should call their insurance agent but yes. also is there a website that they can go to to get prepared yes you can go to ready.gov and you'll get a lot of information about individual preparedness including information on insurance and what kind of coverages might be a appropriate for your house. Definitely timely for what we're seeing out on the East Coast, but also we're getting ready for flooding season here. Right, our traditional flooding season is coming up. We normally have some uh, wintertime flooding in January and then again in the spring and around June. That's what we normally would see in our area, but floods can happen any time of year. Yeah, especially here. <laughs> especially here, yes. Thank you, Scott, so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate Scott doing that for us. You know, we we missed it. We shot that, you know, a couple weeks ago and wanted to air it for September. But we thought, you know what? The flooding season is upon us. It's yeah. evergreen. It's yeah. always. Yeah. Sure. And another thing, too, um, you know, it's just the idea of if there was a flood, a rapid flood that happened or a flash flood or something like that, you know, how would you communicate with your family? Right. Or if there was an earthquake or something like that. So Verizon has been really great. They they gave us, I have a couple friends over at Verizon, and they gave us um, some things that we could make a communications kit with. Because the first, because we always think of like water and food supplies, but the real thing is like, what do you do when your phone's dead? And how do you get home if yeah. the bridge is out and you don't have GPS or, right. you know, whatever. So we put together this communications kit. Here's a, uh, a waterproof little thing. I'll put your phone in there so yeah. it's waterproof. There's a battery. A Mophie. Like, Mophies are awesome. These charge your phone so fast. Oh. Um, and that's if you can't get to, like, a car charger. But we've got some chargers here right. as well. So it's a communications kit that we're giving away. All you have to do is text the word PREP, P-R-E-P. -E and in the next 10 minutes, we're going to pick a winner. Awesome. Cool. I think it's awesome because, you know, I didn't think about a communications plan. And you could always just keep yeah. this in your car. Yeah. Awesome.